Hello, how are you doing today? Did you know Barramundi is a hermaphroditic fish species? Barramundi can change sex during the mating season. Most of the adult Barramundi found were female specimens. After releasing its eggs, the mother will not take care of the eggs until it hatches. Barramundi, or Asian sea bass, is one of the fish that anglers love to hunt, especially for the game and also for the meat. It has a force that can break your fishing line instantly if the size is big enough. It can be found in salt water, fresh water, and in brackish water conditions. The preferred habitats normally are at large structure areas, such as rocks and large timber. Barramundi is widely distributed in Malaysia, Southeast Asia, and Indo-West Pacific regions, from South Asia to Papua New Guinea and North Australia. Everyone that's hunting them today mostly does so for the meat, and hardly anyone catches and releases the fish nowadays because, well, they taste so good. The best time to hunt Barramundi is from the morning until the evening, when the tides are changing from either low to high or high to low. They become very active and hungry, except on the temperature days below 20 degrees Celsius. They stop feeding when their metabolism decreases. All kinds of baits like worms, paddle tails, swim baits, hard baits like poppers, pencils, deep divers, and even jigs will work well with baras. Grenti Strike Geli Geli works well on waters that are not too deep. But if you are hunting around rocks or in a deep mangrove area, I would personally recommend that you use floating minnows or deep driver cranks. Now you definitely need to adjust your setup and make sure that it's right. For shallow water, ultralight or light setups are good to go. But for deep or mangrove areas, I'd personally recommend that you get a better choice of setup. Something a little more heavy duty. Barramundi love to play around water inlets or outlets, and also around structures that are waiting for bait fish. The best spots to hunt Barramundi are between interconnected rivers, areas with lots of big woods or rocks because that's where the bait fish usually hide from the predators. So that's where you're going to find the predators, aka the Barramundi. If you are aiming at structure or in that general area, I would suggest that you use the proper setup. Something with a 90 to 110 millimeter minnow or a deep crank from 75 millimeters to 85 millimeters, since you can knock on the lips of the structure that will attract the bara. If you are fishing around small canals, then an ultralight setup should be fine. You can either go for poppers or soft baits like worms, paddles, and grubs. All works well. In some countries, barramundi are well protected. In Southeast Asia, most people hunt for the meat. I would suggest the big barramundi, 2 kilograms and above, are good to eat. Besides that, let it go and let it grow. Remember, I did mention that they were also hermaphroditic. Usually, a bara weighs around 2 kilograms and above that, they'll change their sex to release their eggs. So do your best to practice catch and release. Use landing nets and proper hooks. Release it safely if you don't intend to take it back. And that's pretty much all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again soon. Cheers.